Hello again. Our guest today is a gift to us from Sweden. She made her U.S. movie debut in Ernst Lubitsch's Heaven Can Wait and has been entertaining us ever since. Probably best known as the villain and villainess in the house on 92nd Street, she's the very popular Signe Hasso. And now, here's your man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. Tell me, at 12 years old, Signor Hassel, 12 years old, you picked up the phone and someone said, we need your daughter for the dramatic role or That's for your right. mother. My mother, my, mother, my mother answered the phone. Right. And they said, this is the Royal Dramatic Theater. I hear you have a daughter who acts. And my mother said, no. <laughs> and uh, they said, well, don't you have any daughters at all? And my mother said, two. Uh -huh. I said, please send one over. You know, mind you, in those days, children right. were not very, it was not, uh, children were not in the theater very right. much. And so I didn't want to go. My sister didn't want to go. And uh, we had become terribly poor. We were very well to do. And then my father died and my grandfather died. Uh -huh. And uh, there we were. And my mother was an artist. Uh -huh. And uh, but she had to she had to make a living somehow right. so she sold waffles in the street waffles yes and uh, so she said well I had never seen a film I didn't know what theater was and she said well you make up your mind either you or your sister and preferably you and she said if you go you'll get an orange uh -huh. so I said and I'd never seen an orange really no really? no no at 12 we were that poor really yes we were but that you poor. wanted to be a doctor Yes, that I knew I wanted to be. And she gave us private schools by, you know, you had to be the best and then you went for free. Uh -huh. But anyhow, um, mm, I think that we flipped a coin uh -huh. and I lost and I had to go. Uh -huh. And um, when I came to the theater, the great director of them all, Olaf Molander, who was the, in, he inherited all of O'Neill for Sweden. Right. He said, I think you're a little bit too big. Oh, I got the orange, by, oh, by the way. you did get the yeah. orange. <laughs> and I, I couldn't eat it till I got home, you see. Uh -huh. And uh, when I came to the theater, the director said, I think you're a little bit too big. Uh -huh. And I got so scared that I would lose my orange that I said, I can make myself much, much smaller. Uh -huh. He said, really? And that's how my career started. And then I had nothing to say, not a thing. The Royal Academy. Uh, the Ro no, that the, wasn't the Royal the, the, Academy. The Royal, uh, that was the Royal Dramatic, Dramatic Theatre. Dramatic, yes. In Sweden. And it was a tremendous success. Is this in Stockholm? In Stockholm, yes. So instead of five crowns a night, I received uh, 15. Uh -huh. And then I had nothing to say. I had to, uh, the school where I went was a very religious school. They threw me out. Uh -huh. and, uh, Why did they throw you out? Because, because they thought theatre was not suitable for a little girl uh -huh. and another private school took all three children uh -huh. and uh, for nothing and uh, that's how I started then the Royal Dramatic Theatre and the state the government and my mother uh -huh. arranged that I got into the Royal Dramatic right. School I got a grant on which we all had to live but you were the very first actress ever in Scandinavian country got the Academy Award Tell me about uh, that. For films. Films. The Cabney Award for films. For films. Yes. You were the first. First woman, I guess. First woman? 1937. That 37. But I got it in this country because of the war later on. And, you right. know, they decided, uh -huh. I, I don't know. What and I first think. ever in Jet Theater? And the theater, too? Oh, yeah. Tell me about I, that. Uh, Say, now, my God, what a career. Yes. What a career. It's a long one. But 39, 1939, you arrived back here in uh, Archeo. Not 1940. 1940. RKO? Yes. Sent for you? Yes. Tell me about it. And I didn't it. do a thing. What do you mean? Never did a thing. I don't know. They didn't have any parts, and uh, I don't know what they happened. They put you on a contract? And oh, they yes. Uh, they brought me over. And I had said no before to Selznick and a few other people. And I decided that uh, I had started too early, you see. So I thought that... Um, and I looked terribly young. I mean, I looked like a child. Right. I married when I was 18. I had a son when I was 18. Oh. I married when I was 17. I had uh -huh. a son when I was 18. Uh -huh. and, and I had played everything, and I thought, well, maybe in America I could uh, right. repeat it all. Uh -huh. 
and uh, that's why I went. And then nothing happened. And then New finally, York, New yeah, York. Then I went to New York, and um, what happened in New York? You did the theater. Yes, but uh, I didn't have a quota, so I couldn't work. But I had a special. I got a special uh, visa uh -huh. to do this one play, which ran, I think, about a week at the most. That Pearl was Harbor Day. Pearl, Pearl Harbor. That's right. God, December, uh, December the seventh. I mean, that's right. And Pearl yeah. Harbor was the next day. Uh, no, uh, Pearl Harbor had just been. Just been. And, yes. and it was a play about RAF. People weren't interested in the theater Not, at that the time. The shock was too much at the time. Uh -huh. Yeah. But it was fascinating, and I had a. So, and then at the same time, and then George G. Nathan gave me a wonderful review, and he said that I was his favorite foreign actress of the year or something. Right. Then Metro became interesting. Yeah, that's when you came back to Hollywood. Yeah, and that's funny. Signa Hustle. Well, exactly. Tell me. I tell you something what? funny about Metro. Because yeah. look at it. You see this picture here? Yes. This is part of a trilogy. This is how I made the test for Metro. Let me show you. Uh, well, this, this is the this first is part of the a trilogy. The first is how you made the test, just like this? I tell you, just like that. And I made the hat myself. Ah. And it had a veil, and here you see the veil. Right. But I was so sunburned because I had motored out to California again, uh -huh. and my skin was peeling. Uh -huh. So I had the veil and that hat around right. like this. Right. And Carl Freund, who was a wonderful photographer, right. you remember him, yes. he said, um, aren't you going to take the veil off? I said, no, nor am I going to say a word. So I sat there smoking a cigarette and just turned left. Right, left, right. I said, thank you. That's it. And on that, I got, got my second career here started. Double life. That hat. Uh -huh. No, I don't no. remember what I did. It was with Metro or something. Yeah. But tell me about double life. Signal. Well, God. I was on Lone Ronald Art. Coleman. Yes, Ronald Coleman. Oh. And George Cukor, whom I adore. He was probably the Shh. best. Well, I've known many marvelous directors. Right. But Cukor became my very great friend. Uh -huh. And uh, we had a wonderful time. Shelley Winters was in that? Yeah, that was the first, her first, the first thing she ever did. Yeah. Yes. That was a great film, working with Ronald Coleman. Yes, oh. it was quite something. Tell me about Metro, though. They handled you pretty well. Metro, good. well, you see, I, I think in five years I made two films for them. Uh -huh. And I was on loan art all the time, so I don't remember. I don't remember anything from Metro. I don't remember the films. You really. made 60 movies, my darling. No, I Six, didn't. 60, no. yes. I'm going uh, well, all together, they They count. were a lot. Signa Hasso, they were a lot of films. You don't remember them. No. But I'm going down the list. There were a lot of them. Yeah? Yes. Mostly TV, but, though. No? Mm, you did a lot of television, but you did a lot of films, too. Well, if you count all of them together. Greta Garbo. Tell me about Greta Garbo. Well, you are two Swedish great actresses. Well, thank you. I write about her in... This one, that's the last one. See, Which one? Because you write books. All these wonderful books are yours. Yes, I'm a writer. You're a writer. Yes, I have uh, eight what? books published on the market uh -huh. in Europe. Mm -hmm. And now they want me to do them here. And I, I, don't, I, have to, I have to adapt them myself into English. Those are all in Swedish. What kind of books do you write? Novels. No. That first one. This one right here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I wrote a lot for, uh, for a while I couldn't work in America, you uh -huh. see. So I became a new a correspondent and I interviewed Roosevelt and Wilkie and... You and interviewed yes. Eleanor Roosevelt? No. Did Roosevelt. Mr. Roosevelt? Yes. Tell me about that. Well, that was fascinating. Oh, that's a funny story, by the way. Yes, good. Because... Well, I was at a press conference, right? And um, uh, I think it, who was it now? Was the Secretary of State? He said, "What are you going to write about?" Uh -huh. And I said, "About charm." He said, "Charm and uh -huh. politics," and he said, uh, "Yeah, politics doesn't interest me. I know." I said that your our president has more charm than anybody else. Uh -huh. And I was standing in front of. He came in, you uh -huh. know, and I was standing in front of. And had earrings on, Mexican earrings, and. Um, Everybody was writing and taking notes, and I didn't. Mm -hmm. And I looked left, and I looked right, and I looked everywhere around. I said, well, I'll remember all of this. And suddenly I heard someone say, psst, uh -huh. that was Roosevelt. Uh -huh. And I looked at him, and, I, and he said, earrings, earrings. Uh -huh, you loved your earrings? And I said, thank you. <laughs> no, but he said, and they make a sound. Oh, they no. were little bells. Ah. And every time I moved my... Yes, 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 yes. yes. So that was funny. Ah. Yes, I wrote, and then they wanted me. To, I've written a lot for papers and things like that. Uh -huh. But I said, "May can I please write a novel?" Uh -huh. And they said, "No, no, no, just your biography." I said, "No, I'll never write that. Uh -huh. Never, ever." Have you? You have never done it. You won't do it. Those You've done are. It now. Those These three are. are. The These three are. are three years. It's a trilogy. But <clears throat> so somebody said this 
tremendous book club, the biggest one in right. Scandinavia called Good Books, Bra Becker, announced that there was an anonymous um, contest. Right. And uh, somebody said that I had three weeks. Uh -huh. This book is written in three weeks. This, and yeah. you got an award and for this. Swedish, tell me I about this. Won, I tell you something. You won? 608 anonymous author entered, and I won the second prize. Oh, congratulations. Since then, I can write whatever I please, and I have. Imagination. Is, you have great imagination, don't you? Well. That's what's lacking in American people. With imagination, they oh, don't I have it. No, I know they watch television. How can you get imagine? No, but that's true. But I think the only thing I think is that you typecast here. You know, in and this country, you typecast. Yes. It's very dangerous, because in Sweden or in Europe, I'm. You can do many roles. I'm very old now. You know, I'm really very uh -huh. old. But they look at me and say, "Well, you can't play old." I said, "I am old. Uh -huh. What can I do?" But. Um, you have to look exactly the type, and uh -huh. that I think is dangerous. Here, yes. yes, they're not chameleon actors here. No, but that you see, uh, uh, I'm used to play anything: uh -huh. ugly, short, tall, whatever, fat, or whatever. Because you're an actress. That's Sigma. right. You're an actress. Yeah. Tell me. It's lovely to sit here, by the way. I Isn't love it. it. Charming yes. having you here today. But Thank I you. must tell you, you've been united. Tell me about this wonderful pin here. This is the one that united you and That's Sweden? the Swedish king. That's for the my... The Swedish king? Yes, the old Swedish king. In 1972, that's a knighthood. That's a Swedish knighthood. Uh, and that one I have to give back when I die, or somebody has to You have to get... Oh, someone uh -huh. takes... Really? They're not allowed to be pawned or anything like that. That's why it's in the glass. Thing. Well, I have a small one that I'm allowed to... Put, uh -huh. That I should put on. Oh, this is gorgeous. I have a clip, and I love to show them when they, you got denied Shouldn't we show it? Oh, yes. that is in Spain. That, that is? That, that is... Okay, we're going to show uh, it. If you're going to show, show that... That's one in Spain? That was 89. No, last year, 90. Oh, Okay, no, that, I got but the clip that's, wrong. that's a Spanish one. This is what we're going to show. Oh, I see. Okay. In Segovia. Yeah. Okay, let's that's see it. Lovely. Let's see the clip. I swear to God Almighty before the image of Saint Barbara. My loyalty to the Grand Master and to the historic <coughs> remembrance of the Cesar Charles. Si así lo hicierais, que Dios os lo premie, y si no, que os lo perdone. Thank you. This is well, lovely. This uh, is really lovely. Yeah. It was quite some time there. It was wonderful. It uh -huh. was lovely. I, it, uh, the old castle was ice cold. Was it really? Oh, yes, but it was lovely. Uh -huh. I loved it. Yeah. But you know something? Yeah. What I was going to say, what was I going to say? Yeah, finally, after yeah. those novels here, right. and this is satire poetry, it's quite, but um, then they said, wouldn't you write your biography? I said, my life has been a long one. You know, I'm, but I'm very old. But an exciting one. And uh, so I said, all right, I'll write it in three parts. I see, that's what you So I wrote a trilogy, and that's the first... I want to get back to Greta Garbo. To Greta Garbo. I want to get back to Greta Garbo. Tell me, tell that's me where about we were. Garbo. Well... Because why is she such a great... She was so marvelous, and I loved her. My mother adored her. Uh -huh. And I think she was probably... She had something... What was it? Uh, mystic. Even George Cukor, who loved her, you know, adored right. her. He said... You didn't see it when you, when you shot it, even, how great it was. Right. It's on the screen afterwards, suddenly appear this mystique. And to me, I mean, she's the greatest. I said in one of my books here, I do say that the Swedes, every artist from Sweden, Scandinavia, has Garbo to thank for, for she paved the way for us all. She, she really did. Uh -huh. I think she did because somehow Garbo and Sweden, uh, you know, I don't, I don't care if it's a director or yes. or an actress or whatever. Uh -huh. She did. She, she did. did and I loved her. And I knew her. Not knew her. Nobody knew her. But uh, what do you mean nobody knew her? Not really. Was she very private. Very. Yes, private? extremely private. She but came to my home. I write about that. Uh -huh. And. Um, I had a very good friend, uh, Brian O'Hearn, you remember him, right. the wonderful. Of course, wonderful. And uh, his wife, Eleanor O'Hearn, was my best friend. Uh -huh. And she was 
one of our best friends, uh -huh. and that's how I really met her uh -huh. a few times. And uh, I remember we were going to a dressmaker, and she came to my house. Uh -huh. and she was very scared. And I had a big house on top of the hill in those days. Uh -huh. it's, I called it my Hollywood house. <laughs> but uh, She didn't want to meet people, did no, she? No, she didn't. And she was scared to death. So uh, it was a gate downstairs, and uh -huh. it rattled, and she said, who is that? Who is that now? Was she terrified of her life, you think, uh, Signia? I don't Would know. I couldn't tell you really. Was she a very shy lady, yes. maybe? Is that what? Uh, well, she was very pleasant and very lovely when you met her. Uh -huh. And uh, very open uh -huh. and very kind. Uh -huh. And I think the one person, through, I mean, that is really the queen of them all, and I don't care who it is. Right, right. I think Garwa uh -huh. will never die. Ah, but Spencer Tracy, come on. Oh, That's and your Spencer favorite. Tracy. Come on, you did a great movie with yes. him. Tell me about that. That's, That's one of my favorite uh, actors. Tell my me favorite about actor, yes. I know it's your favorite. Yes, yes. Tell me about Spencer Tracy. Well, he was lovely. Uh, he was marvelous. He had an enigma. He was an enigma, and he was yes. a, a mystery about him. And we, we worked very well together and very fast. And, uh, and I the also, film was? In the Seventh Cross. Seventh Cross. Yes. Right. And we had a wonderful time. Uh-huh. And uh, it was really lovely. I, we, were, we, we didn't have to. Do you remember any, any funny or, or something very interesting about Spencer Tracy? Because I loved him so. You must share one little. About Tracy? Yeah. Something. Well, I remember the first time when, uh, when we were going to rehearse, he said, it was Zinnemann, you know, uh -huh. it was his first film, first big, I might be mistaken, but it was a big break for him, this film, The Seventh Cross, right. Fred Zinnemann. And I remember that Tracy said to me, do you know your lines? I said, yes. <laughs> he said, I know my lines, why don't we have a cup of tea? And Zinnemann got very nervous, you know, very shaky, uh -huh. he said, uh, oh, but, but, but let's rehearse. And uh, he said, we just, re we just rehearsed uh -huh. for the camera. He said, well, once more. He said, no, come and have tea. And Zinnemann was very nervous all the time. But um, we had the tea. Uh -huh. And uh, then Fred asked, would you like to rehearse again? And uh -huh. said, no, let's shoot it. And of course, Tracy, that we did. And that was it. That's he what was he marvelous. liked. He liked to shoot that real. Yes, I think. But he was very professional. Oh. Got to know your lines. You knew what he was. Oh, he was wonderful. Yeah, got he to was know wonderful. You. Gary Grant. You he worked was, with Gary was charming, Grant. Charming, yes. Oh, Crisis, was a, wasn't it? Was a charming man. Oh, tell me about that. And yeah, but that's funny because I had been ill for a little while and I hadn't worked for a year or so. And uh -huh. I was going invited to a party and uh, I didn't want to go, but I went. Uh huh. And there I met Cary Grant, and he said, what are you doing these days? I'd never met him before. Uh -huh. And I said, well, nothing, I'm waiting for a film. He said, I'm doing one, would you like to be in it? And I played Eva Peron That's the right. next day. Right, right, right. So I was back at Metro again. Metro? Yeah. You had a good re relationship with Metro. Oh, right? yes. I was on loan out most of the time, but I knew Mayer very well. Tell me about Benny Louis Thor. B. Mayer, Louis B. Mayer. Tell me about that man. He's so... He is really Hollywood. Cone in Louis B. Mayer? All of them. I worked for all of them, except for Warner. But Jack Warner. Yeah, Jack Warner. I didn't. But um, Columbia, Columbia, right. yes, and right. Universal. And, uh, yes, I worked. Mayer, he was just a very, he was like a father figure. And uh, he disciplined his children. You Did you get nervous when you walked into that no. big office? No. Yeah. No? No. No. He greeted you like a... I had a great deal to do with Benny Thaw, who was a very lovely guy. Uh-huh. And those days, of course, it's not like now, <laughs> but um, I miss the old days because there was discipline and... Um, is that what we're lacking today? Is that discipline? Do you use that word discipline? The actors don't have the discipline. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, but uh, I'm a very disciplined person because that's my background. Right. And uh, I don't know. I think you should know. Are you satisfied what's happening with our films today? Looking at our films today, Signia? Because you grew, up, you grew up in, in the world with the best directors, the yes. best actors. I love the mill, by the way. Now, everybody said he was so harsh on people. Not at all. You had, again, you, and you Hathaway, have to yeah. and Ford, uh -huh. and one of my other favorites, Lubitsch, uh -huh. whom I knew very well. Tell me about Lubitsch. Oh, Lubitsch was wonderful. I write about that in the book here. Uh -huh. I had dinner with a friend of mine at, uh, oh, a famous restaurant in those days. What was it? Well, well anyhow. Uh, oh, wait, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Uh, LaRue's, LaRue's, or uh, no, Cyril's, or Macombo, or whatever. No, no, okay. but we were, I was sitting there with, a, with an author, and Lubitsch, whom I'd met before, right. uh, 
was sitting in another bo booth with Anne Sheridan, and I saw Sheridan look at me and said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Lubitsch said, really, do you? Mm-hmm. And then he said, would I like, in my escort, like to have a drink with him? And I said, yes, I'd love to. And he came over, and um, he said, why don't you have lunch with me tomorrow? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I said, fine. I was not Metro, mind you. And I came over to Fox, and uh, he was on the phone. He was talking to somebody. And uh, he said, oh, I have to leave. He, he was speaking to Zanna. Right, right. And I had to leave. He said, just for a minute. He said, uh -huh. but sit here, have a cup of coffee. And, oh, there's a script here, right, if you want to read it. I'm making a uh -huh. film. And it was open. Uh -huh. So I started reading it. Uh -huh. And when I came back, he said, you read that scene? Yes, I said, it's a lovely film. When uh -huh. are you doing it? He said, uh -huh. now, would you like to do it? Do you speak French? I said, yes. Uh -huh. So that's how it was in those days. Ah. So, yeah. I never promised... You Rose Garden? The Rose Garden, one of my favorite films. One of my favorites. I haven't even seen it, I think. You haven't seen it? I don't know. Oh, There's you were a... wonderful in this film. I was. I want to show the clip, and I want the people to see it. I that have was... it. I have it. I love this movie. I want to show the clip. Oh, thank you. Never. You saw it. Yes, it's great. Never made Broadway. The nearest I came was Pittsburgh, for Christ's sake, Pittsburgh. <laughs> what other kind of parts did you play? None of your business. The Tony director? Page, yes. English director, uh -huh. very talented, wonderful. Uh -huh. And uh, I liked him. But there are so many directors. I've been very fortunate. Who were your favorites? George Cukor? George Cukor was, I guess, as a friend, too. Because Why was he everybody's favorite? Uh, well, uh, the funny part about that, too, is Because Catherine that Hepburn loves him, too. Oh, they yes. I know. Well, you have to. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, uh, Coleman. Uh, won Coleman? his first award, directed right. by uh -huh. Cukor, which says something. Right. I mean, it's wonderful. And, um, but I also want to talk about Cukor as a friend. You know, he was, my son at the time was very, very ill. And I had to be out earning the money on tours. I, I was on a tour right. with Melville Douglas, he and I did. And um, my son had to be operated out here. And I couldn't be there. It was impossible to be with him. Right. And um, Cukor, uh, for the longest time, he had a phone directly, uh, uh, my son's name was Henry, and he could call Cuco whenever he wanted on the set. And he saw to, he, uh, to, to that he had tutoring and all kinds of things, and anything he wanted he could call. Now that's what I call a friend. He was a marvelous person, aside from being one of the best directors ever. But I've been lucky, as I said, they were all the middle You were lucky, because you went on Cabaret, one of my favorite shows, a yeah. musical. You did Cabaret? Yes, I did. 
That's, that's another a fun show. Yeah, and Hal Prince is another. Was Liza one. Minnelli in that one with you? No, that's Who was in a film. That? I did yeah. a stage play. Yeah, I did it on Broadway, and then I toured. You did it Broadway. Yeah, well, who was on Broadway while. with you then? Uh, uh, Joel Gray. No, I, I I played it with all of them because I uh -huh. played Broadway for a little while, and then right. I did the national the tour. National tour. Yes. And uh, Leo Fuchs played uh -huh. uh, on the road. And um, did you enjoy that role? That that's yes, I loved it. I did loved you? it. Yeah, because this I, is your I album. This well, I write more than I sing. It's you write like, songs. I tell you what it says yes. here. I think. Oh, th I took it from. That's you. okay. That's okay. This is. A, Go ahead. Who who's this? Who's written that? About my singing. Somebody says. No, but you got an award for that. Tell me about yeah, that. Yeah, for that. But about the singing is a. Um, all I can do is to interpret a song. She laughs and quotes a critic of Cabaret who wrote, The leading man has a very pleasant baritone, so has Miss Hasso. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yes, I am a songwriter too, and I've written a lot of music and a lot of lyrics. Uh -huh. and that is our collected uh, Scandinavian folklore. You know, when I look at you. And that I'm, one. Uh, I'm the looking Grand at you right now. I, I, I interviewed Betty Davis years and years ago. And Did I, you? I knew her quite well. Oh, she And didn't. I'm looking at you. I'm looking in your eyes right now. You are? Yes, I'm looking definitely. I know that you, you remind me of Betty. Of you do? I don't know. I, I mean, I do? Yes, you do, very much. What a Betty love. Davis. Oh, thank you. I don't know why, but I feel that wonderful quality about you. Oh, thank that. you. How uh, lovely yeah. of you. And you so know, I'm you wearing this for good luck today. You know who this is. Jacqueline Stallone. Jack. Yes. Gave you a crystal. Is it, but you know that works. It does? You know what you're supposed to do, don't you? No. Well, you hold it up. I can't tell you. But you hold it up like this. Right. And when it turns to the left, like uh, starts left. Right. Then your wishes are granted. Uh -huh. And when it turns the other way, your wishes are not granted. <laughs> and when you do it like this, it doesn't. Anyhow. Signor Hassel, looking back over your career, all this wonderful career. Well, I'm old. That's no. all I can say. Yeah, yeah I'm Looking old. back. Would you do it the same way? Gee. Like, would you? Would you do it the same <sighs> way? You had a good time, would you say? Yeah. I had, uh, I never really looked for the profession. It looked for me, apparently. And I do believe that whatever talent you have, whatever it is, that's why I work so hard. You have to multiply. Uh -huh. You can't leave it the way you got it. And uh, then you'll be punished. Then you have to do it all over again. And I don't think I want to be an actress anymore. If there's such a thing as energy coming back, I want to be a doctor, the thing I wanted to be. The medicine. beginning. Medicine. So you really... So I want to fulfill my writing and my music and the acting this life so I don't have to come back as an actress. No, I don't want to do it again. You wouldn't do it again. Uh, so you do have a little regrets about no, getting into the No, no, I'm studying medicine. I've it. studied a lot of medicine, and it was just as well. But no, I enjoy the writing. You, uh, I think I'm too. Is that what you're doing nowadays, Signor Hassel? Yes, but writing? I might be doing something uh, too. Theater, theater. You got to get that, yeah, back yes, on the theater. I you look might. wonderful, darling. Got well, I, I want to play the part of my age now. Why don't they want you to play the part of your well, age? Well, they don't think I look it, and I can assure them that I look my age. You know how old I am? Right. I don't know. I'm Seven 76. 76? Yes. And I want to play that age, and I can do it, and I have done it. But when they, that's what I mean by Hollywood. And they look at me. Now, if they showed Rose Garden, you know how I can look. I mean, right. that's... Yep. Yeah. Wonderful. So, I mean, that's... I want to be my age. Or younger, or older, or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do you think that's our trouble today with the young actors? They're trying to be pretty and trying to be young. Everything is young. I mean... <clears throat> I'm so grateful I'm old. I guess, you know, yeah, that's bad that they have to be young. Why? Why? Exactly. We should write scripts for older actresses. They should do that. They because should do there that. are some good actresses out there who oh. are...